Hello and welcome to this presentation on percentage mass calculations. So before we go any further, there are a couple of things I do expect you to know before uh, so that we can do this properly. Uh, one, uh, you should really be able to use the periodic table so that you can look up some atomic masses. And you should also be a pretty comfortable with working out relative formula mass. Very, very quick reminder then. Relative atomic mass is the average mass of an atom relative to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon-12. What does that mean for us in practice? Well, it means actually that we're going to look things up on the periodic table and we are going to um, start thinking about the larger of the numbers, which is the relative atomic mass. In terms of relative formula mass, th uh, this is the sum of all of the atomic masses that are in the molecule, okay? So for example, for sulfur dioxide, the atomic mass of sulfur is 32, the atomic mass of oxygen is 16, and once we add all of those up, remembering that we've got two oxygens in there, it comes out as 64. OK, so very, very quick reminder there. Now, in terms of percentage calculations, if I have all of these circles on here, I've got some green circles and I've got some red circles. And then I ask the question, what is the percentage of green circles? Then I can count the green circles and I can say there are 12 of them. And I can count that the total circuits uh, circles are 27. And therefore, 12 out of 27 of my circles are green, so 12 divided by 27 times by 100, so 40% of my circles are green. But let's say that each of the green circles actually has a mass of 2 grams, um, and that the red circles have a mass of 1 gram. What is the percentage of mass that the green circles now have out of the total? Well, we've got 12 green circles, each of 2 grams, so that makes 24 grams. The total mass of all of the circles is the 12 times 2 for the green circles, but then 15 times 1 for the red. So the total mass is 39. So the percentage of the mass just from the green circles then is 24 out of the 39. And so 24 divided by 39 times 100 is 61.5%. Well, we can do this for molecules as well. So if we think about molecules, and let's take magnesium oxide as an example. Well, we could say that magnesium oxide, well, it, in terms of atoms, it's half the number of atoms in that molecule. But is that really fair? And the answer is no. And it's no because, and using your periodic table, you should be able to look this up. The masses, the atomic masses of magnesium and oxygen are different. So we need another way of doing it. And a better way is using the atomic and the formula masses. So the molecular mass, the RFM, the relative formula mass of magnesium oxide is 24 plus 16, which equals 40. Now the magnesium atom actually counts for 24 out of that 40. And so therefore the percentage of magnesium in magnesium oxide according to mass 24 divided by 40 times 100, so 60%. So 60% of the mass of magnesium oxide is due to magnesium. So let's do a few examples. So we're going to use this equation. The percentage mass of an element that you're looking at in a formula is the relative atomic mass of the one that you're looking at divided by the total relative formula mass times by 100 to convert to a percent. OK, and you might think of it as AR divided by MR times 100. So the question then, calculate the percentage of mass of sulfur in sulfuric acid. Well, we need to work out what the MR of sulfuric acid is. It's 1 plus 1 plus 32 plus 4 lots of 16. And that comes out as 98. So percentage of sulfur then is 32 out of the 98, and that equals 32 percent another example how much nitrogen by mass is there in barium nitrate okay be careful of all of these little numbers here and the brackets okay so you've got a three there you've got a two there take that into account okay so work out the mr 
Barium is 137, nitrogen is 14, but you've got two of them. Oxygen is 16, but there are six of them. Okay, and that comes out as 261. The percentage of nitrogen then is 28 out of 261. It's not 14. Don't get, don't fall into that trap because there are two of the nitrogens here. Because it's inside the bracket and the two is outside the bracket, there are actually two nitrogens here. And that comes out as 10.7%. Calculate the percentage mass of iron in iron 3 sulfate. When you work out the MR of iron 3 sulfate, it comes out as 400. Iron accounts for 112 out of that 400. So once you do that, it comes out as 28%. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope this has helped you work out your percentage mass calculations. Until next time, bye.